Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see about uh, different cross validation techniques. So the common uh, cross validation technique we uh, use usually is uh, k fold cross validation and apart from that one of the best practices is to use repeated stratified uh, k fold cross validation. I will explain the uh, differences and uh, how to implement them. First we will uh, implement the k fold uh, cross validation. This cross validation technique is very useful in order to estimate the performance of the model because when you use only train and split means the result is kind of a biased uh, for one part of the data. So in order to avoid that uh, this k fold cross validation will uh, train the data in different parts and test with uh, different parts. So this will give you a mean performance score for a particular model. So for this I'm going to import uh, data so I'm going to use uh, bike sharing data set because we don't need to do uh, that much of pre-processing there. That's why I'm uh, using that bike sharing and uh, AF dot head. Okay. This is the data. Uh, I'm going to drop casual register date, day and instant also. So DF equals DF dot drop columns okay it's not coming so columns equals I'm just removing unnecessary attributes or else we have to do some pre-processing it will take some time that's why I'm just uh, removing this so I'm uh, removing this uh, casual and uh, registered because uh, it's kind of a data leakage to the target variable count so if you add both of them means uh, you will be getting the count that's why i'm just removing that also now i have to set the axis equals one okay this is the data set we have let's go for some model i'm gonna use a random forest uh, for this one so from sk learn dot ensemble and symbol import random forest regressor and for the cross validation I'm gonna import from sk learn dot model selection we will first import uh, k fold and uh, cross val score okay cross val score now before implementing this, uh, we will split the input and output. So df dot drop again columns columns equals. I'll just drop the target. So drop sorry axis equals one. And y equals df dot count. Okay. Now here we will initialize the k fold first. So we have to define the cross validation. So cv equals k fold of how many number of splits you have to uh, perform. So here uh, you can uh, specify. Usually we will uh, split it by five folds. Uh, you can also go up to uh, 10 folds. So here I'm going to specify 5 and uh, random state. So in order to retain the same performance uh, metric, you have to split it in the same way. So I will specify 42 here and you can also shuffle the data. So shuffle equals true. So this is the cross validation. So this is the number of folds we have to specify. Next, we will uh, specify the cross validation. Before that, we will uh, specify the model. So random forest regressor. And now we will get the scores. Scores equals cross val score. Pass the model. Input, output. Now here, CV equals. Uh, so CV means uh, cross validation. You can directly set the K fold like this. Or if you don't want to specify the splits or uh, the shuffle means so you can just directly specify phi. But here in this case, so we will specify the variable CV and uh, we will also specify end jobs equals minus one. So it will uh, use all the cores for uh, faster training. Finally, we will uh, print the result. 
so print we can also define the scoring so here I will say error equals scores so scores also you have to uh, use uh, mean and uh, standard deviation so for that I'm gonna use uh, numpy import I think it would already be imported so here I will specify the mean and uh, standard deviation of the error np dot mean scores comma np dot standard deviation standard deviation equals scores okay let's run this once to check whether it is working or not currently I'm just uh, going through the uh, k-fold cross validation and after that uh, we will go with uh, repeated stratified uh, k-fold cross validation so here uh, you can see this is the mean maybe we can specify in a neat manner so I'll just pass this here so have the format and uh, error standard deviation okay think that would be good before that so this is the mean error and this is the standard uh, deviation of the uh, cross validation like like how much it is deviating from the mean score so these metrics uh, will be very helpful in order to estimate the model performance I will just run it this again and in the meantime we will uh, go for uh, repeated stratified k-fold uh, cross validation so if you are using a repeated uh, k-fold so repeated k fold cross validation cross validation so we have got the same error mean and uh, standard deviation now for this we are going to do the same thing but we are going to use a different uh, module for uh, repeated uh, k fold so I'll also add a uh, stratified here so stratified will be very helpful if you are dealing with uh, classification problem currently we are just going with regression but it can be applied so I'll just copy the same thing for reusability okay instead of k fold I'm gonna use repeated stratified k fold you can also use uh, repeated k fold also so I'll just copy this here and uh, I'll just use the same uh, number of splits so what it does is additionally it will have the additional parameter called end repeats so this will repeat the same steps uh, uh, like three times or n number of uh, times and uh, it will give you the more concrete uh, performance of the model sometimes even if you do cross validation means uh, the scores will uh, deviate if you run it again so in order to avoid this uh, you will be having repeated stratified uh, k fold validation stratified is uh, useful if you have uh, uh, classification uh, or uh, categorical output variable so it will uh, split it in a evenly manner so the only difference uh, between these two is this uh, end repeats it will take some uh, time for training because it will do the splits again for uh, three times and it will uh, calculate these uh, scores and uh, finally it will uh, give you the error mean and uh, error standard deviation so this is a regression okay here shuffle is not supported so I'll just remove this okay yeah I think uh, similarly you can uh, apply all the parameters as we used in uh, uh, k-fold cross validation and again if you don't want to use stratified means you can also use that uh, repeated k-fold both have the same parameters so here uh, you can see a difference uh, 0.9451 that is the error we got but in the stratified or uh, repeated approach 
we got uh, 0.9450 so this is the um, uh, standard or uh, so this is the standard uh, mean because it it ran like uh, multiple uh, times in the deviation also we have like higher deviation like 0.0036 and here 0.0034 uh, that's why there is like a slight uh, difference in uh, scores if, even if you do cross validation that's why it's better to uh, do the cross validation uh, some number of repeats so usually 3 is a good number and you can also increase the number of splits to 10 so these combination will be very helpful in order to determine the score and uh, that's it guys this is how you, you can uh, implement uh, uh, cross validation techniques if you have any queries uh, related to this please leave a comment below apart from that uh, see you guys in the next video